All right, dog. Heading on into next week, then Southern Miss gets on into Conference USA uh, schedule, facing off against uh, usual foe in Rice. All right, so T, what you think about this game, dog? Uh, last year they lost thirty to six, um, but it was a tale of two halves. First half they were down twenty three to six, and then. Ultimately, ultimately, they lost 30 to 6. They didn't give up, but like one more touchdown in the second half, and that was at our house at Hattiesburg. Uh, Frank Gore had a pretty decent game. He had like 71 yards on the ground. Abraham didn't do a whole lot in the air. But uh, you got to be you got to be pre up for this one because this is the opener for Conference USA play. Um, I think Frank Gore Jr. can really provide a spark when we just we talked about you know uh an alabama preview or an alabama game gunner keys and, and and maybe we can build a lot better offensive firepower against a team like rice who's one in three uh they haven't they beat texas southern that was their only win as is our only win is against grambling mm-hmm. but um Maybe, you know, they played a pretty tough schedule now. They played Houston. They played Arkansas. Rice did. So those are pretty tough teams. Arkansas is number eight in the country, I believe, right now. So um, I think I think it's a winnable game, but we're going to have to be ready for the for the road game, you know, the hostile environment um, that we're going to see. So I, I'm pulling for them. They got Rice favored by two and a half. I think we could I think we could cover that. I think we can win this game. I really do. I really think we can win this game. And it will be a good character builder. So I hope Will Hall comes up with a really good game plan that allows Ty Keys to be Ty Keys, a dual threat guy, allows Frank Gore Jr. to be the, the very very talented back that he is. It just allows us to use our strengths. And maybe maybe we come out with the dub. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing some hope up in here. All, All right. right let's keep it rolling, with. Joe. <laughs> We're with it, man. We're going to get this done. Yeah. Man. Get this let's done. go, Joe. Well, I'm gonna give a little, a little, little bit of history. Uh, uh, that's I don't know if I like that. No, no, it, it's, it's actually pretty decent. Okay, let's uh, go. Let's go. Okay. T- total eleven times they didn't play. Uh, USM has won six of them. Okay. Uh, our largest margin of victory was sixty-five to ten. Um, our smallest victory was forty-three thirty-four. <laughs> so, if you want to go by that, you could say, "Hey, we can blow them out," but if the game is tight. We can win a close one too. Mm-hmm. Um, as as T said, uh, both teams are one and three right now. Mm-hmm. What I want to talk about is uh, our defensive rushing and their rushing attack. Uh, we're allowing eighty six yards per game. They're averaging one hundred and seventy eight. Whoa! So I think that's what it's probably gonna a come. Buck seven eight. Who they got? Ladanian Thompson out there. <laughs> I, I have remember, no idea. Y'all remember when 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 L, uh, LT was in the conference USA with TCU? Uh, yes. like what well, he used to put up. Indeed. What are they doing? Uh, I have no idea. So I'm sitting here wondering. But as T said, they did have tough schedule because I'm like at one seventy eight. Y'all probably the record should be better. Uh, this gonna be a tough one, Wells. What? This is gonna be a tough one. Who was the one other boy? Break. What was that other boy from Memphis that used to show out on the ground? He went, uh, he went uh, on Willis. to be still uh, in Carolina. Yeah, what do we, they got somebody like that down there? Some guy. Oh, oh that, that's what it's gonna come down to. Yeah, yeah I think it sound like. I think it's something to be said about that, man. Um, if you can run against the the likes of an SEC team and some really good teams uh, after that, then your running game is legit. Like it. At oh. that point, at that point, you don't have to guess. Their running game is legit. Um, before we played Alabama, Southern Miss had one of the top third down defenses in all of America. Um, now you got to remember who they were playing, so it's a part of that. Um, you got to take with a grain of salt. But I say that to simply say we'll find out how good our defense is. A lot of times, winning the game on any level is getting off the field on third down. If you can get your defense off the field then they can be fresh uh, throughout the game. So if you can figure out a way to get off the field on third down, um, you give yourself a chance for success. 
I'm wondering what that looks like when it comes to ground attack, because a lot of that third down defense is pass defense. So I don't know what that looks like on ground attack. Offensively, the run game should be much better this week because you went up against probably one of the top three run defenses in all of America and Alabama. So that you get that back with Frank Gore Jr. and the other guys were not able to get off like 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 we're accustomed to. And Ty Keys is your leading running back because he's he's running for his life scrambling. That should die down a little bit. Ty Keys should have a little bit more confidence because he doesn't have guys bearing down on him literally every play. So, you know, I say all that to say you have a chance because now, in, in my opinion, the game should slow down for everybody. Where everything was happening like this last week, you should see guys that are on your, your level this week versus Rice. Yeah. We'll see what that looks like. We'll see what that looks like. Uh, but at this point, it's a toss-up. And I say it's a toss-up because Southern Miss is on the road, so I don't know what that looks like in terms of um, a point spread or anything like that. But I will say this. It gives them a good chance to win the game, at least. Yeah. Says they're two-and-a-half two right. underdogs is what they're saying. Well, when I said that they averaging 178, I, I could tell they scared you. You want, me to, you want me to ease that? Well, Rice defense is giving them 230 rushing yards <laughs> per game. There you go. There you go. There yeah. you go. <laughs> no, but but hold on though. You did one of y'all T said they, yeah, they, they did play some SEC opposition. That's so true. I would they, expect they Arkansas. Them. They played right. Houston. So that don't that doesn't easy for me, Joe. They played Texas. They played we, Texas. We got Frank Texas. Gore Jr. They played Texas. So Frank Gore better, gonna go to the he game. He better look like his pops. Let me, okay, let me just go ahead and put it out there. Okay. Uh, America, y'all been seeing us when we, you know, speak on Southern Miss as alums. We've been frustrated. You've seen some frustration from us. You've seen some uh, disdain from us. You've seen some disappointment from us, okay? But we're getting into the Conference USA schedule now. And in that schedule, I'm just going to speak for me on this. I expect wins. No, you Whoever it is in Conference USA. You can speak for me too. And I speak for us all. Yeah. We we need to beat those teams, okay? Nah, I ain't gonna say speak for me, but yeah. <laughs> see, hold them accountable. Hold, hold them accountable, T. No, you no. I, I feel what you're saying because you know play. our uh, expectations have dipped since Fedora dipped out. But no, they need to beat these these conference USA teams. There's no excuse, especially the ones that that are left now. Yeah, Memphis ain't in there. Houston ain't in there no more. You know what I'm saying? So who left that really football recruiting like that for real, for real? I mean, the UCF the ain't there. UCF? No. Ain't it? Okay. No. See, it's all that's over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should beat these teams. That's the expectation. I don't care what the point spread is. <laughs> Southern Miss, go get it done. To the top. Yeah. America, y'all chime in and tell us what y'all think. Do y'all think that I, my, my expectations are too high, too lofty for Southern Miss, a team that used to run this conference? Ooh, or do you think I'm spot on? Put it on something. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also... Visit Statement Tees, LLC.com, and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.